Mr. Speaker, honorable guest of um, honor, distinguished guest of honor seated here, honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, Youth Impact Parliament is a youth movement based in whole Ghana and founded on the 22nd of April 2021 by Jones Amagashiviglo, a young intellectual political activist who is passionate about parliamentary democracy and African unity. Raymond Elike Madbo and Amano David Na are co-founders. I would like to, before I proceed with um, this, I would like to recognize my co-founders, if they can be upstanding. So we have here uh, Amano David Na, he's one of our co-founders. And then Raymond Elike Madbo is also our co-founder, and I'm the founder. The founding of the movement was precipitated by his frustration and the inability of African countries to achieve good governance and prosecute African unity. He is also appalled by the type of leadership that African countries have exhibited over the years in their past colonial administration and he feels there is a compelling need to inculcate values of patriotism, honesty, transparency, hard work, selflessness, and dedication to duty in the youth as future leaders of their countries for championing collaborative participatory democracy through reflective interrogation of challenges confronting attempts at attaining good governance and African unity. The movement seeks to promote the movement seeks to promote achievement of good governance through building capacity for the youth in parliamentary democracy. YIP seeks to cultivate a new breed of leadership that will put their nation over and above their individual interests and fight for the attainment of good governance and the establishment of a Pan-African unity through country-based African parliamentary movements and networking. Youth Impact Parliament, YIP, will serve as a training ground for character building and training for Ghanaian and African youth and leadership and in their various countries. State of the problem. African youth of today are disappointed with bad governance and frustrated with the poverty of leadership and corruption being exhibited in Africa and most African leaders. Evidence of corruption, mismanagement of resources, abuse of human rights, ethnic cleansing, civil strife, poor health, education facilities, decaying infrastructures, energy crisis, and lack of collective shared vision for their various countries have become a lot of most African governments. Even though individuals, even though individual African leaders, such as Osajefo Dr. Kramin Kruma and Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings of Ghana, Nelson Mandela of South Africa, Colonel Mudma Gaddafi of Libya, Paul Kagame of Rwanda and John Magufuli of Tanzania have demonstrated good faith and commitment to good governance and the promotion of African unity. There remains much work to be done and accomplished for African countries to depart from their track record of bad governance. There is a need for us to have a new breed of leadership in Africa. This governance as we are saying, there is a need for us to have a new breed of leadership, and that is what Youth Impact Parliament, Movement 6, to accomplish by making this movement a forum for capacity building for the youth in good governance. Aspects of the capacity building includes character training and integrity, honesty, public policy analysis, provision of relevant education, quality of healthcare delivery, 
democratic participation, constitutional studies, public speaking skills, communication skills, equal opportunity and gender studies, social values and norms, and the development of patriotic attitudes. Vision. Youth Impact Parliament Movement seeks to become a virtual youth Pan-African Parliament of Excellence in character training for good governance and democratic values for the youth in Africa and in general, more specifically, Ghana in particular. Mission, cultivation of a new breed of African young leaders with integrity and incorruptible character for national development and achievement of good governance and African unity. Objectives of Youth Impact Parliament. One, to create an enabling environment for the youth to build their character and in integrity and selflessness. Two, to create opportunities for the exposure and parliamentary process and procedures for youth democratic leadership. Three, to promote and serve as a training ground for the youth in act of public speaking. Four, to create linkages with parliamentarians and other state officers for expanding the frontiers of parliamentary knowledge, skills, and attitude among African youth. Honourable members, I'm now going to outline the past activities that we have done since establishment. That was exactly one year ago. Since establishment, we have held a number of activities, both physical and virtual sittings. These are the records of sittings held. First pilot sitting was held on Saturday, 8th May, 2021. We had our second pilot sitting on Saturday, 26 June, 2021. Then we had our third pilot sitting on Saturday, 8th August. So we had three pilot sittings and we dissolved the pilot parliament. As a matter of fact, it was called HTU Youth Parliament by then. So on that day, we inaugurated and formed Youth Impact Parliament. It started a long while, but it just had a different name at the starting. So on that same day, we had the first regular sitting. Then we had our second regular sitting on Sunday, 10th October 2021. Let me just unveil some of the sacrifices our members have done. We started giving out, um, refreshing our members with the regular item 13 from, um, from the second regular sitting. That means from all the first sitting, they are sacrificing even their tummy. God bless you all. So we had our third regular sitting on Monday, 15th of November, 2021. We had our fourth regular sitting on Sunday, 20th of February, 2022. That was the first one we had this year. And we had our fifth virtual regular sitting on Tuesday, 22nd March, 2022. We had our last sitting before this one. That was on Sunday, 3rd April, 2022. As we said, Youth Impact Parliament creates capacity building. So one of our medium for capacity building was our virtual leadership seminars. And then you, you demonstrate what you have learned at our sittings. So we had a number of capacity building seminars, which were all virtual. We had our first one with Mr. Eric Edem Adbana on Thursday, 20th of January, 2022. We had our second one with Mr. Michael Elam on Thursday, 10th February, 2022. We had our third one with Mr. Julius Kwame Anthony on Wednesday, 2nd March, 2022. We had our fourth seminar with Honorable Peter Nosukotwe, that's the MP for Akatino, if I'm right, on Thursday, 10th March, 2022. We had our fifth one with Her Excellency Lillian Saliado on Tuesday, 15th March, 2022. We had our sixth virtual leadership seminar with Mr. Faisal Abdu Idrisu on Thursday, 24th March, 2022. We had our seventh virtual leadership seminar with Reverend Roger Elam Tutriku on 1st April, 2022. We had our eighth virtual leadership seminar with Mr. Eric Norma Koranche. That was on Thursday, 7th April, 2022. And then our ninth one with WH Corbina London on Thursday, 14th April. 
all these virtual leadership seminars that we had were accordingly uploaded on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. So if you are interested, kindly really go and watch them there. Some other unique activities we had was an um, International Women's Day panel discussion on Wednesday, 9th March 2022. And our second special program, which is today's special anniversary, a uh, special sitting held today, Friday, 22nd April 2022. Yay. So as I said, we make use of virtual um, social media handles to promote our vision. We have a lot of WhatsApp groups. We have two main ones that are open to the public and then some for special businesses. We have a Facebook public page, a private public group, private group, and then a normal page. We have an Instagram account at YIP Ghana, a Twitter account at YIP Ghana. We have a Telegram group and then our YouTube channel. I indulge you all to follow our YouTube channel and then let's increase the number of subscribers. Recommend us. Youth Impact Foundation. There will be a foundation called Youth Impact Foundation. The foundation will be focused on seeking funds to support the vision and mission of this parliament. The foundation will, as well, freely offer leadership training to SRCs of tertiaries in Ghana and prefectural boards of SS, specifically in the Volta region. The leadership of the foundation will have an executive director, administrative director, and finance director. And then we'll also have patrons and trustees at the appropriate time. Finances. As of now, virtually all costs of operations and programs is borne by John Samagashiglu, the founder. We wish to appeal to all here and listening to us, support us freely from their heart from time to time. Legality. On Tuesday, the 12th of April, 2022, YRP officially registered with National Youth Authority. Can I hear, hear, hear to that? Yeah. Efforts are underway to register the movement with the Registrar's Department of the Republic of Ghana. Future plans. The association or the organization will be introducing, actually we have already introduced youth representation, youth constituency representation. That is, we are looking at um, Volta, region, Volta regional constituencies, OT regional constituencies, uh, Eastern region and Greater Accra in the composition of our second parliament. Right now we have the first parliament and it will soon be dissolved and the second one will be formed. So the Google form application will be sent around and then also general membership, that Google form is also ready and then it will be shared from today for any member, wherever you are, to join us. It has no cost implications in joining us. One of the things we try to do is that we want to reduce cost implications because after all, this, this is a youth organization. It is volunteerism. Why do you have to pay to volunteer? It is due to that that we look for other alternatives to sort out our financial burdens than to impose it on you. For me, I don't have any intentions of imposing dues on anyone. We would fund our operations from donations and then we'll have a headway. Apart from that, we are hoping to acquire ropes for the officers. This rope is not for youth in part parliament. So we are hoping to acquire the speaker's rope, two speakers or my honorable deputy speakers. We have one handsome one seated on my chair, Honorable Felix Kwakwe, the handsome one. And then his younger brother, um, Emmanuel Hadeke, also seated there. Reserve speaker, thank you so much. So we are quite rose for them as well. My beautiful clerks, I have my clerk there, Hilary Fosuansa. Can we see you? Yes. And then one of her deputy clerks is there. So we want to acquire robes for all of them. There are four in number, the clerk, deputy clerk publicity, deputy clerk operations, and deputy clerk finance. We want to acquire robes for all of them from donations and then whatever money I'm able to gather. We also wish to acquire a backdrop like this. We should have Youth Impact Parliament's logo heavily uh, displayed at the back so that you can see my logo. Our logo, sorry, not my logo. Our logo. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So we want to work on that. A tripod stand to, you know, 
to have um, to live stream our own sittings without calling for or to outsource that. A maze and a gavel, that gavel is not ours. So we want to acquire our own gavel. Hit it for me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and then a maze to be in front of the decks of the clerk. A branded table cover. We want to have our own uh, table covers to cover our, uh, our tables that will have the logo inscribed on it. And then electronic devices like phones and then laptops to stream our, our and then if possible a router to stream our settings and then whatever program that we have. Conclusion. Right Honorable Speaker, Youth Impact Parliament has come to stay. Let us support this vision of this Honorable Parliament. Thank you very much.